Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us quickly look at the steps again one by one. So the first step that we do is we take any point A on the line and we take any point B outside the line. Now please make sure that this point B can be anywhere outside the line. It just tells you that the line which you are going to draw that will be on this point. Now let's see if you consider this point B at this point instead of this point. In that case the line that you will get will be formed here. So that's the only difference. Then you join AB. Now draw an arc with A as center. This is the arc with A as center and this is the arc with B as center. Now ensure that the radius remain the same. That is the positioning of the compass remains the same. Now you measure angle BAN with the compass. So BAN would be this angle. Let, let's assume that there is some point N here. So this angle would be BAN. So how do you measure it with the compass? Something like this. So once you measure this angle, now what you do is you draw an arc with the same opening of compass with G as center. Now what we do is let us call this point as G. So what we do now you place the compass in such a way that this needle of the compass is on G. So basically we are considering G as the center and we are keeping the opening of the compass same. So you may, must ensure that the opening of the compass is not changed. That means th this pencil end should not come closer or should not go far away. So the opening here should remain the same here. And then you mark this point as H. So which point would be H? This point which is marked by the compass is point H. So this is point H. Now once we have marked H, what is our next step? We join BH. Now when you join BH, what do you get? You get another line. So this line M is parallel to L. So why are they parallel? Because their alternate angles are equal. So if this is angle 1, this is also angle 1. So basically angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So this is how we draw parallel lines. Now I am sure that now you would say that it isn't difficult. Now once you draw lines parallel like this, in that case you do not have any doubt whether the line is parallel or not. Because since the alternate angles are equal, so the lines have to be parallel. So let us quickly try this exercise. Let's see if we can draw parallel lines perfectly or not. So what does the exercise say? It says that draw a line L. Let's draw a line L. Draw a perpendicular to L at any point on L. So let us first locate any point on L. Let's say we have located any point A on L. Now we have to draw a perpendicular on this point A. Perpendicular means a line which makes 90 degree with the line L. So how do we make angle 90 degree? You have learned in your previous class how do we draw 90 degree. Now you can draw it using protractor but we encourage you to draw it using a compass. So you know how do we do it right? Considering A as the center you draw an arc first like this the purple one. So that is the first arc that you draw. Then considering this point as the center you draw this blue arc. Then considering this point as the center you draw this blue arc. And then considering this point as the center you draw this arc. And then considering this point as the center you draw this arc. So this is how you make 90 degrees. So the point here, point where these two arcs intersect, that point when joined with the point A makes a line which is making angle 90 degree. So this is how we draw 90 degree. Now I am not going, getting into the detail of how to draw 90 degree again. So this was just a quick recap because I assume that you have learned about it in your previous class. Even if you have not, you can refer the videos of mathematics of class 6. Anyways, so this is how we draw a perpendicular at point A. Now what does the question say further? On this perpendicular, choose a point X 4 cm away from L. 4 cm away from L. That means this distance between the point X which would be somewhere here between and this line L should be 4 cm. So what do we do? We take the compass and we mark this point x 
So considering A as the center, you, you just take a ruler and then you measure 4 cm on that ruler using the compass. Then you can draw an arc at a distance of 4 cm or you can simply point, make a point, mark this point which is 4 cm away from L. So this is your point X. Now through X draw a line M parallel to L. So basically from this X you need to draw a line that would be parallel to L. So for that what do you need to do? You need to ensure that the alternate angles are equal. Now let us assume that if we assume, so let's say this is just a rough assumption. Let's say if there is a line running like this and we want this line to be parallel to this line. In that case the alternate angles must be equal. Which would be the alternate angle? So this angle and this angle these are alternate angles so basically this angle should be equal to 90 degrees right so that that's what we mean so we need to ensure that this angle is 90 degree so for that what do we do we we follow the same process so we draw an arc here considering this point x as the center now we measure this angle so this angle is 90 degree anyways we measure it using a compass now we make sure that the opening of the compass remain the same and now we place it here such that one point is at this point and the other point we just make a note of where it intersects so we draw an arc at this point right and now this point we join it with point x and the line that we get is nothing but line m so we can say that m is parallel to l because the alternate angles are equal so basically this is how we draw parallel lines now see it might seem confusing but when you follow it step by step it is pretty simple the only concept that you are using is we are in making the alternate angles equal. Once the alternate angles are equal, the two lines are anyways parallel. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.